Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Andy here from projectgo.pro and today I'm going to show you how to import and how to apply LUTs to your videos in Final Cut Pro. Before to get started, I just want to let you know that um, importing LUTs and applying LUTs to Final Cut Pro is quite simple. We're going to see it very soon in a few simple steps, but um, I want to clarify a couple of things that I think are important to know. If you have got a version of Final Cut Pro that is before the 10.4 one, then you might need um, external plugin in order to import LUTs to Final Cut Pro. If you've got an updated version of Final Cut Pro, so 10.4 or later, then you don't need any extra plugins to apply any LUTs. You can just, you know, uh, use the effect, the LUT importer that Final Cut Pro has got by default and yeah, apply any custom LUT just like that. So now let's jump into my MacBook and let's see how to do it. So here we are into my MacBook. I've got Final Cut Pro opened with a couple of clips in my timeline and I would like to apply LUTs a lot on this clip. Remember that if you are planning to apply any LUTs or color grade your footage, remember to shoot in flat to have your camera color settings as flat as possible. Otherwise, um, you know, say you're shooting with a GoPro or with a DSLR or anything else, then most of the times these cameras, usually the, the video comes out already colored, like as if, you know, there is already a filter or um, color LUT applied on it by the camera. So if you have uh, the option to disable this setting, please do and go ahead and do it. Disable any LUT, any custom color applied by your camera so that later in post-production you have more freedom to put, you know, to apply any LUT and it will look better. But now without any further ado, let's see how to apply the LUTs. So again, if you're using a Final Cut Pro version that is older than 10.4 um, you need a plugin called MLUT by Motion VFX. I've got it here. So that's a website where you can download the plugin for free. Then you need to install it to Final Cut Pro and then you can use it. Just go here, um, grab it from the effects. You can drop it on the clip that you want to apply the LUT and then simply go to um, la load custom LUT here and then you can browse your LUT, wherever it is. You can pick it up and apply it on the clip. So I'm, I'm now gonna try to apply a LUT, a custom LUT that is uh, in cube format. LUTs can be of different formats. So uh, this plugin on Final Cut Pro accepts the cube format and I'm gonna choose one of our Project GoPro LUTs, let's say um, Cine, Cine Winter, since this is a winter clip, we've got a few Cine Winter LUTs. I'm just gonna choose one randomly just for the purpose of like showing you how it looks. Okay, the LUT has been applied and then you can also adjust the intensity by dragging this, this bar. So it's very simple. Now the other way to apply LUTs are simply going, if you have, of course, a newer version of Final Cut Pro, so it has to be 10.4 at least, so then you can go to the effects and just type here in the search bar LUT, and then you should see uh, custom LUT. This is the default plugin provided by Final Cut Pro, so just um, take it and drag it on the clip like we've done before with the other plugin. Now I want to disable this plugin because this is the one that I applied before. So then after you um, apply the custom LUT effect, then in the inspector here, you should be able to see the custom LUT ticked like, like this, and then go here. And now you should be able to, here I already imported a lot of LUTs. So that's why you're gonna see all of this list, but you, should, you shouldn't see anything here because if you just imported, if you just applied um, the plugin, the, the effect, this should be empty and you want to basically choose a custom LUT, browse it and pick it up from your computer. If you don't have any LUTs and you want to try out our LUTs, 
I will leave the link down in the description so that you can download them and apply to your videos. This is a pack of like over a hundred custom LUTs designed by our filmmakers at Project GoPro. Our customers are pretty happy about these LUTs. They use it on, you know, for different projects, for like personal projects and also for business projects. They give like custom uh, presets and custom colors so you can change the mood and the style of your videos just with a click. So it's pretty fast. It's like you, you, change, you can change the mood of your videos in an instant. And with over 100 presets, it will never run out of like color styles, basically. There is one for each occasion. So I would suggest you to go and check it out. The link is down below. Let's have a look to uh, winter LUT, Cine, Cine Winter number five. Open this LUT. I'm now applying it with the custom LUT by, um, by the, with the custom LUT effect by Final Cut Pro. Now the LUT has been applied. You can see the before and after if I disable it and enable it again. This looks a little bit too much. So I'm gonna decrease the intensity of it. And let's have a look at the footage. Yeah, it definitely made a little change. Of course, the intensity is not so high as you can see here, but it made a little difference. Now, if I want to increase the intensity, I just slide the bar. We can try different LUTs. Let's see, let's pick up another one. Cine pack, let's see, Cine ski. Let's increase the intensity a little more. All right, let's see the before and after. You can see that there is a major difference now when you, you know, choose the right LUT and you like you feel there is the style that you want to give, then like go and um, adjust the intensity, give the right intensity and then you're ready to export your final video with the colors of your preference. How cool is that? That saves a lot of time. Trust me, a lot of time in the post-production process, especially because like color grading is not as easy as like, you know, editing or cutting a video. It's, you know, color grading, it's, an, it's a, sub, a subject itself. There are film colorists, imagine, like specialized on color grading videos uh, for films, you know, and, um, and different videos. And yeah, this takes time and skills. So if you don't have a lot of time or the you know required skills to color grade any video then i would suggest you to get yourself a pack of cinematic LUTs anything like of your preference would work of course the one we have got are like you know specialized to give the best results to video makers that's why a lot of um, like action camera filmmakers and also like normal people that have dslrs and drones that use them for like adventures and uh, filming their, their holidays or anything like that, prefer to get our LUTs uh, because yeah, they can get a lot of like different colors and styles very easily at a, at a low price. So yeah, go and check it out. I will leave all of the links down in the description. I hope that this simple process has helped you installing any LUT in Final Cut Pro. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this. I'll see you soon. Ciao.